So I've got my Raspberry Pi Pico over here and I've got my VT100 terminal program running on it. I've got VJ monitor plugged in there, which goes to the display there. I've got my Z80 retro computer here, which has a serial connection to the VT100 Raspberry Pi terminal. I've got USB keyboard plugged in to here, which goes to the Raspberry Pi Pico. So when I type on the keyboard, it sends the information to the Pico, which then sends that to the Z80 retro computer. And the Z80 retro computer responds with what it wants to put on the display back to the Pico, which goes onto the VJ monitor. So this is the uh, monitor application, which I wrote for my retro computer. And if I go to address 80, and execute that. That just gives a demonstration of a uh, of the character set which is in the terminal that at this current moment. And if I go to, I think it was AF, and that should take me back to the menu. Uh, and then option two is the Altair 8800. It just says how to use these switches at the front to program the retro computer that I built using the switches like an Altair 8800. And then if I go to, I'll go to the ZX81 first, number five, and it runs my terminal emulated ZX81 ROM. So it's the ZX81 ROM, but I've just put some hooks in rather than uh, it displaying onto a, a, a VHF television set. I've got my own code in there, which uh, set, converts the display data and sends it down to a, a USB, to send it down a UART to, uh, to a terminal. Before I've been using terminal emulators on my laptop, but because I've now produced a VT100 terminal on the Raspberry Pi Pico, this is actually now a standalone computer, so I don't, have, don't need a laptop to use it at all. I can use a USB keyboard, which is so much better than trying to source a PS2 keyboard, which is a serial keyboard, because USB keyboards are just like you find them all any, any way you want. So I can write a program in ZX81. And I'll display the character set. Of the ZX81, but it's uh, using currently, I've, it's currently using the um, terminal character set, which I've, which is an IBM 850, uh, but Hopefully soon in the future, I've, I've got the ZX81 character set in this terminal, so I should be able to actually display authentic graphics of the ZX81. If I just modify this program a little bit and change it so that it does a graph in its amazing characters. So using the plot command, I need to put 20 plus sign a times 20. And that should now plot a graph, the sine wave. So this would be so it's 81 characters, hopefully, when I get the exact 81 character set operating, uh, but this at the minute is just like uh, estimated characters taken from the IBM 850, so you can, can run that. And finally, I'll demonstrate CPM 2.2. So if I press three, and it uses the like disk drive that I've put in there, which I, which will ultimately be actual physical disk drives, but at the minute I'm just using for de development and a flash ROM to actually make it look like um, a disk drive. So I can run survey. It tells me about my Z80 computer and how it's set up for CPM. Uh, and then if I go to drive C, I think it is, and user one. Oops. 
and this is where I have my blitz game. So if I start my blitz game by starting M basic, so it takes a little while to uh, a few seconds to load M basic because it's coming off of this kind of flash drive, which is bit banging SPI. So it's not particularly fast, and I haven't found a way of make it use the quad mode yet, which it should be able to use, but um, maybe that'll come along later. Uh, so it's loaded M Microsoft Basic, and then it loads the Blitz game, and it runs it. And so this is something. So because it's running at four megahertz, so this is authentic speed to the kind of speed of the computers that, at the time. And it's just a simple game where you have to blow away the buildings below, then land the plane on the empty space you've created. If I come out of here by pressing Control C. And then just come down to the bottom and lift the program. So that's the game. So if I press shift page up, that will take me up a page. And so that's it. Just those two pages of screens of code is the blitz game. And if I page up, I've got four, I've got five pages on my terminal that I can page back over and page forward over.